check this out guys. I am no longer inside of YouTube general. I've left the clan only for a day or so and I have joined one of the world's most famous clans called Savage Skull. Now the reason why I've joined this clan, there is a new world record which has just been completely destroyed by one of the members of the clan called Paul, who is currently attacking on screen right now. This guy is a Town Hall level 10, and he is now the official undisputed world record holder for the most amount of trophies ever achieved in a single season. He's got 6,200 trophies in Legends League in a single season, guys. Absolutely unbelievable, almost unimaginable, but we're about to put him to the test. Can this guy, the world number one, Town Hall 10, 2 star, and take down my Town Hall 11 base, guys. We're about to find out inside of a live attack, so stay tuned. Let's get into the episode. So I would like to say, if you are Town Hall 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11, I would suggest to watch the entire video, guys. We're about to show you the top Town Hall 10 player in the world, the strategy he uses, the tips and tricks he has to 2 starring any Town Hall 11 base, and overall, what he does to, you know, become one of the best players in the world. So stay tuned, keep watching. I'm sure loads of you one day want to reach 6,000 trophies and there is no better video on the internet which is going to help you do that, guys. So check this out. Paul is currently attacking the leader of Savage Skull, Harry. Now, Harry is a Town Hall level 11. He is a very well-built base, guys. It's very well-developed. And we're going to see if Paul can two-star him. So the attack strategy he's using inside of this attack, a queen walk, with bowlers to create a funnel and then he's going to send in the rest of the army the barbarian king and the valkyries into the core to try and take down the town hall and get that second star so do me a favor if you've made it this far into the episode let me know down below in that comment section what is your all-time personal best trophy push and what town hall level are you guys let's see who has the highest down below and i'll try to reply to as many of you as possible if you're interested in mine i'm town hall 11 and I reached 5,820 trophies. Can anyone beat me? Let me know down below. So also, before I forget to mention, guys, Harry, the owner, the leader of Savage Skull, actually has his very own YouTube channel, and it is called Savage7COC. There will be a link to it down below. Make sure you check it out. And his Instagram is also at Savage7COC. Please check it out, guys, if you want to see some high-level gameplay. But check this out. This is Paul. And you can see the all-time personal best, 6,200 trophies. The number one current world record holder for Town Hall 10. And I think he's going to be there maybe for quite some time, guys. And uh, we're going to see if someone can beat him. So here comes the next part of the episode. Paul is about to take on my base live, guys. So here we go. Live replay. Let's do this. Paul taking on General Tony. Can he two-star? That is the question. So just during the initial part of this raid... There is a giveaway going on inside of Savage 7, guys. So inside of Savage Skull, sorry. So Harry, the owner, is giving away a $100 gift card to the highest ever Town Hall 10 trophy pusher this season, guys. So if you're Town Hall 10 and you're inside of the Legends League and you think you can beat Paul, come and join the Savage Skull family. And if you beat him at the end of the season, Harry will give you a $100 gift card. And then giveaway number two... Harry is also giving away $75, $50, and $25 to the top three people who join Savage Skull and do the most donations this season, August 2017. So if you want to win one of those challenges, join Savage Skull, guys. Good luck to every single one of you. But let's check out what Paul is actually doing to my base. So he's got in, he's taking out the Eagle Artillery. It looks very impressive so far, but it's all about getting that second star, guys. One star is not enough. Two stars must be achieved. Can he do it? That is the question. So check it out. The defending Barbarian King is coming over to his level 40 Archer Queen. Rage Bell goes down. Just about going to manage to take out that BK. And she keeps on stormtrooping forward, guys. So she's going to take out the Expo, the Air Defense. And the second part of his raid has already started over on the right-hand side. So place your bets, place your bets. Will Paul two star my Town Hall level 11, the world record holder, taking on me, a, uh, a YouTuber who kind of sucks, guys. But check it out, my base is actually extremely high level. There's only about four or five defenses in the entire base which aren't maxed out. So if he can pick up the two star, I would say this dude is pretty much unstoppable, guys. But it's going to be hard to get inside of there. His queen is currently stuck over on the left-hand side. The defending CC is coming out. 
and it's kind of bad guys because there are balloons inside of there but here we go valkyries seem to be running into the core guys check it out they're on the town hall but they've moved out of the rage spell and it looks like they're gonna fade just before they take out that town hall 11 guys unbelievable so close yet so far there goes the queen's ability picking up loads of extra percent but unfortunately for paul it is game over so as I said at the start of the episode guys, massive shout out to Paul, the guy is currently the most skilled Town Hall 10 player in the world, but if you think you can beat his record, join Savage Skull, if you can do it by the end of August, you win yourself a $100 gift card. So there isn't just Paul inside of the clan guys, there are other Town Hall 10s as well, who have reached around 6,000 trophies, and this is currently a Town Hall 11 trophy pusher on screen, so anyone who joins Savage Skull, has to be above 5,200 trophies to get in guys and uh, as I said it's got some of the best trophy push players in the world they use a variety of different strategies but the reason I'm showing you this is because the defender is from Savage Skull and the attacker is actually a youtuber called Ed I'm sure loads of you have heard about him he's been around for quite some time I think he is from Germany and uh, Ed only one stars the base inside of here so it's a pretty cool defense from savage skull the base design itself is actually awesome and i think i might use it inside of my war base guys i'm not really too sure it looks cool looks different and uh it's kind of like a donut base but more of a square so don't forget guys if you've made it this far into the episode we are almost at 2 million subs Make sure if you're new, subscribe to the channel, join us on the journey, and stay tuned for all the content we produce over the next couple of weeks. So here we go. It is time to demonstrate another Town Hall level 10 attack. So Paul, the number one record holder, is a ground attacker, but this dude, another Town Hall 10 inside of the Legends League, inside of Savage Skull, is currently using an air attack, and he's about to two-star this Town Hall level 11. It's got level 5 internal inferno towers, it's got very high level defenses, so let's see what kind of damage he can do. So he's actually started off the raid by using the heroes to create some sort of a funnel and widen the spread so that his dragons, his baby dragons and his dragons can go in and go for a piercing attack against the town hall 11 guys. So the barbarian king cleared out the first apartment, he's come out now and he is going to be attacking all those buildings over on the outside. The archer queen goes in there and somehow manages to take out that level 5 Inferno Tower, guys. That was clutch. That was absolutely clutch. And check it out. He's got a huge gap over on the right-hand side. That means there is now a great chance of grabbing that Town Hall. He's also drawn out the defending CC. And it's a Lava Hound with a balloon. And, of course, that is not going to affect his air troops pretty much at all, guys. So this is going to be nice and easy for the Savage Skull Attacker, guys. So he's drawing out the CC over onto the right-hand side. And here comes the initial stage of the air attack. Baby dragons go down first. They're going to tank for the balloons. Balloons go in just behind. And they're going to pick off a couple of those defensive structures as the baby dragons clean up just behind. So check it out. It takes out a couple of Archer Towers, a cannon, and also moves on to the expo, guys. Now take a look at the troops left. He's still got dragons, baby dragons, and minions. And already up to 36% total damage. So he's pretty much guaranteed a one-star as long as he's smart. So here we go, the main core of the attack strategy coming in now. Balloons going in under that rage spell. Dragons, baby dragons, everything gunning for that town hall level 11. 45, 46% climbing very fast, guys. 47, last couple of dragons go in. Straight into the center there. An air mine came out, took out one of the baby dragons, but way too many troops left. And the town hall is history. First Inferno Tower was taken down by the hero. The second Inferno Tower, it's set to multi target and can't really do too much damage against these dragons. In fact, he didn't even use his poison spell or his free spell, guys. So the Savage Skull attackers, they are next level. They are some of the best in the world. Now, as I said at the start of the video, if you do want to join the clan, feel free to do so. The only rule, you do have to be over 5,200 trophies, guys. So, you know, they're looking for some of the best trophy pushes in the world. And there it is, guys, the brand new world record holder, possibly one of the most impressive world records of all time inside of COC. So, just to clarify and go over what's going on inside of this episode, we have shown you the world record holder, Paul, who has 6,200 trophies as his all-time personal best. Very, very impressive, guys. But Harry, the actual owner, the leader, the creator of the clan, is also doing two giveaways inside of Savage Skull this season. So let me just clarify how you can enter and how you can win yourself a lot of free gems. So the giveaway number one 
you have to be Tunnel 10, you have to join Savage Skull, you need to be at least 5,200 trophies, and once you join, if you are by the end of August 2017 the highest Town Hall 10 player inside of Savage Skull, Harry will give you 14,000 gems guys or $100. Now giveaway number two, very simple, this time there are three winners, place number one you get $75, second place $50, third place $25 all you need to do once again you need to have at least 5200 trophies you can be any town hall level join the savage skull family guys and if you donate more than the other players inside of the clan if you're first second or third you will win yourself a free gift card 75 50 and 25 dollars finally as i said make sure you follow savage 7 on youtube guys link at the top of the description box and check out their instagram savage 7 coc so we are going to end this episode here hopefully you enjoyed it we have some more replays to show you in another episode so stay tuned i'll see you shortly guys have a great day peace out